What's up, everybody? So, I just got done recording my new cover for this next week, and I'm very excited about it. It's such a fun song. If you guys haven't checked it out already, go check out my music page, drake.bartle.music, on YouTube and Facebook. YouTube's where I post my songs. And on my Facebook page, I've started this this past week. I'm actually going to do polls to see what songs you guys want to see next. Because I like, I want to do what you guys want to hear. I want to know what you, what you like and what you want to hear me sing. And also, if you have any other suggestions, post them on that page or in the comments of my videos. Because that way I know that you guys want to hear more. So... This week, I'm going to be doing something a little different, as you can tell from the title. We're not going to be going to Silver Dollar City, because one, it's been raining like crazy, and I'm not sure how the weather is going to be. And two, we are there at the start of a new festival, so I don't know how the crowd level is going to look. And I don't want to go, I don't want to be there when it's like uber crowded. I don't want to not be able to do as much with you guys because of lines and things like that. I want to be able to give you guys the full experience without having to do all the all the other stuff. You know what I mean? That sounds super lazy, but you know what I mean? But this week we are going to historic downtown Branson. Maybe doing some shopping. Just kind of looking around, see how things have changed. I haven't been there in a while. You guys haven't seen it in a while. So it's going to be fun to walk around, check out stores. Just kind of take in the atmosphere of historic downtown. Hopefully it won't be too bad because the tourism season has started here in Branson. And things kind of get a little crazy traffic-wise, but mostly it should be okay because it is a Thursday. So usually eh, it might not be too bad. So because it is the tourist season, also the good thing is, like I've talked about before, we, uh, there are a lot of shows that open up and a lot of different attractions that open up for this season. So between now and I would say... August or September is a really big time. There's a little bit of a break. And then October through December, part of January, is also kind of a busy time. To give you guys kind of an idea of when things are busy. When you might want to plan your trip out. My Some of my favorite things to do is I like to go see some of the shows. I like to go do things like that. But speaking of shows, Katrina and I also went and saw this past week uh, Hamner's Unbelievable Variety. This show has magic because the Hamners are amazing magicians. They've won so many different awards. There's um, singers. There's an aerialist. There's uh, my, I've got a guy who I work with, and he's a good friend of mine, Mr. Johnny Lone Star, who does like cowboy rope tricks and gunslinging and whips and all that fun stuff, and just amazing performers of all different kinds that are in this show and they do an amazing job so if you get a chance go see this show highly recommend it family fun show and everyone has something for everybody to enjoy so i'm gonna be i'm gonna finish up my video stuff here and i will talk to you guys downtown all right you guys so i just got done shopping in the shepherd of the hills Humane Society thrift store. Didn't really find anything I was looking for, but a little bit of a heads up if you come to Branson. If you've never been here before, everything is on a hill. So parking lots are very, I don't know if you can see the angle, but it's its a nice little angle there. So be prepared for that. Whenever you're coming out to park somewhere, more than likely it's gonna be on an angle. <laughs> There's not a lot of flat surfaces to park on. But it's still a beautiful area, still a lovely place to live. Not complaining, just a little heads up. So let's explore more of downtown. All right, everybody, so we are downtown in historic downtown Branson. And I want to give you guys a little bit of a little tip when you come into Branson. There is a more open parking lot. Usually people try to park on the street, which can be very congested and things like that. But if you're having trouble finding parking, you can actually there's a very nice parking lot out here, right behind Dick's Five and Dime on Commercial Street. So, if you guys come out here and are needing a place to park while you walk around, it is only three hour parking, but it shouldn't be, it, I don't know if you'd spend more than that time out here, um, but just kind of keep a heads up on that. 
So looking at the weather, I'm batting a thousand for coming out in Branson in the past couple weeks because it is nice and gloomy and cloudy. Hopefully it won't rain on us. So let's see how it goes. Let's walk around and see what we can see in historic downtown, see if anything is different from the last time we were here. All right, you guys, I'm here in Dix 5 and 10, and it is very crowded in here. I finally found a place where it's not too crowded back here, towards the back. But there's a lot of fun stuff in the store. They've got about everything, besides like grocery, besides like food items. Well, they got like candy and stuff. But tons of board games that you probably never heard of or you haven't seen in forever. There's lots of kids' books. There's craft stuff up front. And then there's all these stuffed animals of all shapes and sizes. There's also like bean, they still have these, these big eye like beanie baby things here. So there's all kinds of stuff for everybody in the store. And this is kind of the main attraction store of Branson. So it's got, you can kind of expect it to be busy. No volunteers, she says. So, there's all kind of crazy, it's, all, it's always busy usually. So, and there's also, Lots of old school toys and stuff for, for those of you with nostalgia and stuff like that. Little Nerf footballs, off-brand Nerf footballs and hacky sacks. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I just said it was old school and there's hacky sacks in here. I feel old. My age is increasing by the second. It's a scary thought. But yeah, a lot of fun stuff in here. So I'm going to make my way back out to the street. just want to give you guys a feel for what's all in the store. I know I can't show a whole lot because it's so crowded, but I will talk to you guys later. All right, so we just, just got done in Dix 5 and 10, and again, I couldn't film a whole lot because of all the, all the people that were there, but that's the street really quick. But I did get some pictures of an area I wanted to show you guys which was called, which I like to call Nerd Corner. It's up at the front. If you can go through the door, head to the left side. They have all kind of like nerd merchandise, as I like to call it. There's some comic book stuff. There's Star Wars, Star Trek, Harry Potter. Basically, you can find your fandom at that store too. Just be aware that it is very crowded and very busy a lot of the time. So, we are gonna explore some more of this lovely downtown Branson area and I will talk to you guys later okay so I am here in the old-fashioned candy store here in Branson if you're you get you come some bearings if you come down the street uh, if you turn right at Dick's Five and Dime you'll come right down here it's on the left hand side and they have all kinds of taffies and old-fashioned candies in here I personally love this store. I come, I've come in here quite a few times over the years that we've lived here, and it's some amazing candy. They've got lemon heads, nougats, jawbreakers. Basically, if you've heard of it, they may have it somewhere. <laughs> it's a very nice little candy store. I mean, they even have the Yoohoo chocolate candy bars. I mean, how can you go wrong, right? So, I just want to give you guys a quick feel of everything that's in the store. It's a lovely store. I want to give them a little bit of attention since I've come in here so often and they do, it's kind of a nice um, small town store. So I want to give them a little bit of a attention. So if you're ever in Branson, come find the store. They have some great candy and stuff like that. So I will talk to you guys later. All right, you guys. So to give you guys a bearing of where that candy store is, down there on the corner, Here's Dick's Five and Dime. Come right. You're gonna turn right when you hit that at that stop sign, and it is right here on your right, on your left hand side. Great little store. There's a lot of great stores down here. There's a lot of little businesses that may not get as much attention as they deserve. And since I'm out here and you guys are checking everything out, I figured give, give them a little bit of a shout out and things like that. And if you guys know of any stores that are down here that maybe people need to know more about or if you're interested in knowing more about them let me know and I'll see if I can get some more information so anyway I'm gonna look around some more 
All right, you guys, so I just came out of the Lightning Pond shop here in downtown Branson. They have a lot of really cool stuff that's in there. There's video games of all different systems and things like that. And there's even uh, tools and uh, all kind of fun stuff in there. <laughs> Movies, things like that. Um, so the only reason I didn't film in there is because I didn't ask. One thing, I, I know it's, it should be common sense, but if you are doing YouTube, things like that, and you go into a business and stuff like that, this it's a bit of courtesy to the owners of those shops. If they have a policy where you can't film in there, then don't film in there. You know, I, I understand if you have a YouTube channel, you want to get as much content as you can, especially if you're a vlogger like myself, but... You know, just at least ask and be like, is it cool if I if I record some stuff in here? Um, just a bit of a bit of advice from me to you. Not trying to be heavy or anything like that. Just wanting to kind of just put some tips out there. So now I'm just going to explore more of downtown, see if I can find some fun stuff around town, and just enjoy the day. It's a little it's starting to it's starting to clear up a little bit. So. Hopefully it should be a nice day. It doesn't feel too hot, not too cool. So, pretty nice. So I will talk to you guys later. So, I did do some shopping today. Stuff for a future project. I'm not gonna give you guys too much information. Keep the mystery alive. But, kind of a feel for what Old Downtown is here in Branson. Also, if you guys are interested in the history of Branson, there's the Centennial Theater here. and. It's free admission. It's open from 10 to 4. I have not been to it yet, but I've heard it is an amazing museum for if you're interested in finding out all the history of Branson and things like that. So far, it's been a pretty good day. I'm going to cruise to another couple stores in town, see what we can find. So, it's going to be a good day. I will talk to you guys later. Alright, you guys, so just got home a little while ago. And it was a gorgeous day. Oh, nice to sit for a little bit. So, like I said before, if you guys haven't already, go check out my music channel, drake.bartle.music. I post songs there every week. So, there are going to be exciting stuff coming very soon. Got some shopping done today for a future project down the road, which is going to be awesome. And... There's a whole lot more fun stuff coming along the way. If there's anywhere in Branson that you guys want me to go check out, post in the comments below or post on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Drake the True Snake, and also post songs you want to hear on facebook.com slash drake.bartle.music because I'm going to be doing a poll very soon for next week's song. So a lot of fun stuff coming. Um, so I wish I could tell you more, but I want to keep things... On it. I want to keep you on your toes, so to speak. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. And remember, Bruce!